morning everyone from Goshen, Indiana. Alrighty folks, this is what we've got going on. I am hooked to a 43 foot travel trailer, shipping weight 11604 GVWR 13445. Origin, Goshen, Indiana. It is going to Greencastle, Pennsylvania. I know that I swore I wouldn't do these anymore, but apparently I'm gonna have to quit swearing. It's a job, okay? It's a job. I, I'm thankful to at least be working, so I will take what I can get right now. Maybe later I can be picky, but right now, yes ma'am, put me to work. I'll show you the outside of it, and then I'm going to uh, do my yard exit, and then my yard exit call. I've already submitted my pre-trip pictures, and so we're minutes from hitting the open road. We mentioned it before but it's worth mentioning again that these park models inside of them they're really nice yeah like a I don't know like a mini motor home mobile home and at destination I'm gonna try to get inside but Ruder has it that the customer prides themselves on 30 minute or less check-in so I don't know if that's gonna involve them opening it up and looking inside we shall see. Howdy from Green Castle, Pennsylvania. I'm delivered. I didn't realize it, but I have been here before, once before, and as soon as I took the exit, I knew I'd been here before. Yeah. Really cool people. Happy to do business with them. Went in inside and got my paperwork, and on my way back out, I remember a customer that kind of gave a little thank you bag, and this is them. And it's weird that I should think about that on the way in the door, because I've only been to this customer once, so. It amazes me how my memory is so good on some things and so bad on other things. <laughs> oh, and another thing, I had to walk back in because I forgot, but um, I asked them if it would be okay for me to leave my business card with them in case a customer needs a unit moved, and they said, sure. And I leave two because my business card on the front has pertinent information, but on the back I've got a little bit more information this side's the most important side, but uh, I, I'd always leave two. Um, this will be the second time I've left cards, so we shall see how it goes. Yeah. But just wanted to share that with you. It rained all night long last night. It was pretty. Oh, the view from last night, or when I got up this morning. The view, check it out. All right, delivered, and the post-trip pictures have been submitted, and so has the paperwork. And now I am on my way to Sam's Club, which is 12 minutes away. According to my mechanic, he put a tester on my batteries and my secondary battery on the meter readout, it says replace. So I need to go down to Sam's Club and have them deal with my battery because, as you probably remember from an earlier episode, I had gone to a Sam's Club and they tested my batteries and they said they were good. But what my mechanic did was he had taken the um, connectors 
off of the battery because he said it's possible that when they were checking my battery it was reading good because it was feeding off of the other battery so when he unhooked the secondary battery and tested it the tester said it needed to be replaced so Sam's Club here we go alrighty the battery checker dude checked my secondary battery and he said it is bad so I am on my way with the paperwork to customer service and I guess they're going to prorate my battery. Why is it that everything is so far away? I've done this walk three times now. I better lose weight. Alrighty. So at customer service they said, we don't prorate batteries. And I'm like, that's kind of what I thought. He says, I don't know. I don't know why they sent you down here. So we walked all the way back down to the tire center. And apparently there's just some, I don't, miscommunication. Somebody doesn't know how to do their job. But they are going to replace my battery because it's less than three years old. And so now I'm walking all the way back down to my truck. I'm going to wait in my truck. And the guy says that as soon as he replaces the battery in one other vehicle, they're going to replace the battery in mine. And I don't mind saying, my back is killing me. So, I bought a few snacky things while I was at Sam's Club. And I think I'm going to partake of them while I'm waiting. I love Sam's Club. I love their rotis rotisserie chicken salad. Alrighty, folks, I am happy, happy to say that I have found myself a load off the central dispatch load board, and I've already printed out my paperwork. It's a five hour drive from my current location, and so I'm going to head over there tonight. and. Hopefully, the load won't cancel. So, I mean, because that's always a possibility. When, when I've heard of this happening a lot on Central Dispatch, loads get canceled, and um, I've already, I already have the mindset that it could happen. So let's hope it doesn't happen. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode, and uh, then I'm going to boogie on over there. So you're going to find out what's happening on that next load on the next episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. And just remember guys, it's all about the perspective.